So guys, um, we are going on a little mini vacation tomorrow and somebody had the idea, <clears throat> Chanel, that I um, print up some vacation shirts for everybody to wear. There's going to be six of us, including myself, we're going to the Outer Banks. Uh, shouts out to everybody who watched the miniseries Outer Banks. Uh, I wish they would sponsor this channel, but they didn't earn anything. But it's a, it's, a, it's a great series. You guys should really check it out. And it inspired me to want to visit the Outer Banks. So we're going to Outer Banks tomorrow, and we're going to take you guys along with us. But first, we got to make our vacation Outer Banks shirts. So I decided to go on Google Images and grab a, a random picture of Outer Banks and make a quick shirt because we got to leave early, early, early 6 o'clock in the morning. So I don't have a lot of time to be messing around with graphic design software. So I just do something together really fast so I can press it with my uh, 16 by 20 inch heat press and I'm going to print it out on my um, Sawgrass SG-1000 and show you guys how you can do something like this and how you can implement this strategy as part of your business as shirts that you can offer to people vacation shirts right if they're going to Disney you can grab a picture of Mickey Mouse vacation right get the, Mickey, the Disney text on there vacation and um, have the year at the bottom and put the names on the back you can even put a family number if you got that or whatever or, or age or something like that or whatever you want on the back but just an idea another business idea for you guys and we're gonna start this video right after the intro boom. wait a minute just like that boom 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 boom, boom. just like that hey, 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 hey. Productions just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom. Wait a minute, just like that. Hey dub, you ready? Wait a minute. Alright, guys, this is the image right here that I created. Something this is going on the back of the shirt, by the way. It says Outer Banks Vacation 2021 Buzz Lightyear Tesla Chipmunk A dub, yours truly, Danimal Cake. Where's the gold? Outer Banks joke, but um, where's it? Uh, yeah, no, it's okay, sorry. Um, so this is in the middle is everybody's nickname, of course, mine being A Dub. We got Buzz Lightyear, Tesla, Chipmunk, Danimal, and Cake. Guys, you guys will meet everybody while we're on a trip, I'm sure. And we got little two plates of gold right there. Just do that together real fast. But we're gonna go ahead and send this to print. We have our what size paper do we have? We have our eight and a half by 14 size paper in the Sawgrass SG-1000 ready to go. Guys, if you haven't purchased a Sawgrass SG-1000 yet, use my heat transport house down in the description below to purchase yours now. Plenty of stuff in stock and ready to ship out. Stuff that was prior sold out, but here we go. Now that we have everything situated, we're just going to go ahead and send everything to print right over here. Just press print. Boom, and then the print settings pop up right here. We're just gonna select the Sawgrass that's ready, the Sawgrass SG-1000, and then we're printing out of tray number one, right? Um, and actually it's tray number two, all right? Tray number two, tray number one, I normally keep at eight and a half by 11. Tray number two, I keep at eight and a half by 14. And then we're going to select 8.5 by 14, which is tabloid size, guys. Tabloid size. Then we're going to select polyester, um, text print R, and uh, high quality is good, and vivid is good. And we're going to send this to print, and we're going to wait for Sawgrass Print Manager to pop up. But first, we got to get this uh, message right here that's supposed to pop up on the screen that says it's sent successfully. There it is. Go on, boom. Press that right there. And then we're just going to go ahead and click on Print Manager so the Print Manager brings itself forth when it opens up, okay? Alright, looking looking at our polyester, looking at Print Manager right here in the settings, polyester, high quality, text print R, tray number two. We're just going to select jobs right here and we're going to print out six of these because we need six of them because that's how many people there are, so that's how many shirts that I'm going to make, right? And then... As soon as I know everything is the way it's supposed to be, um, 11 by 17. Now that I know that everything is set, I'm just going to press print. All right. I know I originally said 8.5 by 14, but it's really 8.5 by 7, 11 by 17 for this specific one, guys. So uh, just to clear that up right there. Sorry about that. 
On the printer, I couldn't find how to select between tray number one and tray number two. So I just I just changed tray number one to the 11 by 17 and that appears to be working fine guys. So uh, yeah. And here's our first print guys. This is what the print looks like. It's backwards so when you press it around, if you can see through it, I don't know if you guys can see through that. You can barely see it. Outer Banks Vacation 2021. You guys see through it and you guys see it's the right way. You lay it on a shirt like this and press it and then it uh, presses out the correct way. All right. That's the logic behind that. Just in case people were wondering while I was doing these videos. What we got to do to prep is we have to cut out some butcher paper because we're going to use butcher paper for the inside and over top of the, uh, the sublimation paper so that it doesn't sublimate onto the back side of the shirt and onto the top of the heat press is platen so got to use some butcher paper so while this stuff is printing out let's prepare our butcher paper okay got my scissors so I pretty much just uh, get a piece of paper that's about the size of the sheet of paper and I just cut it out for each shirt we want two pieces of butcher paper we're doing six shirts so we want 12 pieces of butcher paper all right so that's how that goes all right that's two so on and so forth. Craziest part is you can't reuse the butcher paper, okay? Because it'll, it'll appear to be clean, but some sublimation ink is on each side of the butcher paper, so you can't reuse it, okay? You can't flip it over, you can't reuse it because you'll mess your shirt up. And these are going to be all white shirts. But as you guys can see, it's not that hard to cut if you got some sharp scissors right here. Alright, you just. You just cut one once and then slide it across. Alright, and that should be about 12, I think. I, I lost count. I stopped counting, but that should be about 12. And actually, now that I think about it, I gotta do front and back. So it's actually gonna be 24 pieces of butcher paper. Oh my gosh. All right, we got all our butcher paper cut out. We got the backs of the shirt printed up. Now it's time to select the front of the shirts and print those out. So back in the Sawgrass Studio, we're just going to hit Trash right here. Actually, no, we're going to go to uh, Creations because I already created this. We're going to go to Shirts, and I already had this, and I'm going to, boom, select that right there. And there is our second, our front of the shirts right here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing, guys. Just going to go ahead and hit Print. All right, Sawgrass SG-1000 is ready. Make sure I got tabloid size. And make sure we're going on polyester. Text print R quality, gonna hit vivid. And we are pretty much ready to go. Make sure that message pops up that says it's sent successfully, right? And then we're gonna be cooking on gas. I already turned on the heat press, put it on 400 degrees for 60 seconds, all right? And next step is to get our shirts ready after we uh, after we send this to print. We get our shirts ready, okay, for everybody's size. Get, go ahead. It says queued to print, and now we go ahead and press print manager. So when it pops up, it's in the front. Boom! Print manager already in front. Got our image right there, and it looks like the bottom of the text is a little bit cut off. Hmm. Is it cut off? It looks like it's cut off, guys. So uh, we're gonna have to adjust that. Let me let me cancel this print, and I'm gonna move these this text up a little bit. Move the text up a little bit because we don't want that to be cut off. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and jut the text right up against the the letters right the the bottom of the image right there. Little small space, and let's go ahead and press print again and see if that turns out any better. All right. Once again, use tabloid and polyester text print R vivid print alright so see how this one comes out see how this one turns out guys wait till we get the message successfully sent this is good that you guys see this right and if this one is still a little bit off then we're gonna shrink the image and pull the text up even more but this one should be good this one should be good only the top of the head should be cut off on the guy right there let's see how, how much of it's cut off of his head hmm oh no that looks cool I think that looks alright um this is interesting right here something seems a little bit 
Outer Banks. Yeah, top of his head's cut off a little bit, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, something's weird right here because it appears like it's not as close as it is in the image. But guys, you know what? Sometimes, for the sake of 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 what we're doing, we're just gonna um send it to print. Um, jobs. Gonna hit six again. But guys, I'm in a rush right now. I gotta get this done, so I can't mess around with the settings and everything. This is how it is gonna be. So six. I'm gonna send it. Go ahead and send it on to print. Cause I don't really have time to be messing around with this. See what I mean? This is close right here. The text is real close to the uh, image, but on the one that was sent to the printer. The text is not close to the image, which is interesting. Um, I have a suspicion of why it might be, but like I said, I don't really have time right now to play around with it and figure it out. So uh, I'm just going to send it to print and it's going to be fine. You know, it's nothing. It's not like it's wrong. It's just not what I see on the screen. All right. So you guys can play around with your settings and figure that out. But um, that's the first time that that's ever happened to me. But um, it is what it is. So let us go over and let's start getting our shirts out, guys. So I'm just going to go ahead in my stash and I'm going to grab the shirts that I need. These are the Gildan G460s. I want the G420s. So let me go for my G420s. They're in here somewhere. Here they go. And these are actually jerseys. I'm going to grab one medium. I'm going to grab two smalls. Got to have your stash organized, guys. Gonna grab one extra, two extra larges. Uh, actually, one extra large and two larges. I think. Here's our print right here. All right, guys. Our heat press is all heated up, and for efficiency, I wanted to show you guys a trick. I have my transfer my uh, sublimation paper right here right right next to the heat press so I can get to it then I have my shirts and my butcher paper right here all in the same section so I can slide everything out boom load up a shirt boom butcher paper inside sublimation paper on top sublimation paper um, butcher paper on top press everything is right there within arm's reach all right so let's press our first shirt all right so boom Slide out drawer. This is a medium one right here. And you know, just try this one on. So, boom. It would be real helpful if you had an extra person with you to help this process right here. I normally open it up. Slide the piece of whisk paper on the inside. Like so. Alright. I don't have to be so deep inside of it. Right here. Alright. And then grab your sublimation paper. Four fingers down from the collar. Want to make sure you center it up nice and good. Right, four fingers down. Right there. Boom, boom. Center it up nicely. Alright. Put another piece of butcher paper on top. I'm gonna put this one this way. All right. Take one last look. Make sure you don't shift it while you're putting that down. Then go ahead and press it. 60 second press. All right. All right. Here we go. Make sure it doesn't pop open because you don't want the sublimation paper to shift and it cause ghosting or anything like that. All right. So boom, boom. All right. There's our first one right there. Looks good. Looks nice and bright, nice and clean. Look how look how good that looks. Yeah, sit this to the side. And let's move on to the next shirt. That easy. Alright, nice and quick, nice and easy. Waste no time. We're gonna do all the fronts and then we're gonna do all the backs. The sublimation paper that you use, put that on the floor right there. We'll pick that up later. Alright, because we're pressing shirts right now. If you got a trash can next to you, that's a good idea, like a trash can from the kitchen or something like that. That's an excellent idea. One of those big, big, big trash cans that you can just dump, dump the shirt in. But for right now, I just do it right on the floor. Make one little small pile of all the papers so that way when it's time to uh, clean up, you just pick up that pile, throw everything in the trash. Alright, because that stuff's no good. Alright, boom. 
there's a small right here, small shirt right here. Easy to line up. Grab your sheet, put that on there. All right, make sure make sure your uh, sublimation paper is, is covered and everything. And our thing is right over there, so we can see everything is good. All right, four fingers down. Boom, measured out, nice and straight, looking good. And we're good to go on this one. Put this down right here. All right, next. And we're just moving like that, nice and easy. All right. All right, so now you guys see we got all the fronts done. All the fronts done. It's time to press the backs, y'all. It's time to press the backs. Got that done. We're cooking on gas. Almost done here. Just going to line my shirts back the way they were so I can have my same workflow together. Put them back in exactly the same order they were. And then I can just work backwards. Same deal. Hold it so it don't pop up. Because you don't want that to shift. Slide it down. A little bit hot. So be careful when you take this off. Alright. That butcher paper is done. Go ahead and grab that. Bring that off. Boom. Looking good. Looking good. Look how clean that is. Look how clean and nice that is. Came out good. Alright. Keep it moving. Now guys, I want you to look at this right here. You see this right here? See that ink right there? Yeah. That's because I laid the shirt down on this way. Right, and when I laid the shirt down that way, the ink from the top of the shirt transferred to this pad right here. So, guess what? Um, I don't know what I can do about that. Uh, guys, let me know what I should do about that. Should I lay it down a piece of that? Means I gotta lay it down a piece of sublimation paper on here for each shirt that I press from now on. That's crazy. That's crazy. Front and back is what you gotta do, right? It's crazy. So now, if I don't want to ruin the shirts, that's one extra piece of butcher paper I got to use for each of these shirts. Front and back sublimation, no bueno. No good. Would not suggest doing it at all, just for this. You guys saw, you guys saw that right there, right? Front and back sublimation, no good. Highly not recommended. I've been staying my... My uh, my mat. I could always flip it on the other side though, and that's what I'm gonna do. But you guys saw what happened. The heat activated the other side of the shirt, and it made it get sublimated onto my uh, onto my mat. And that that's for those of you guys. I, I'm glad you guys saw that because that's for those of you guys who question why you're using butcher paper on the inside of the shirt and on the outside of the shirt. You saw what just happened. It's sublimated onto the bottom of the... <laughs> That's how strong the sublimation ink is. All right. Bring this up. Can't really see anything on here. Bring this up. This is what I'm talking about right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can see it right here. Right here. Right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but the ink is right there. Alright, so yeah. Gotta use that butcher paper accordingly. So this is what my floor normally looks like after doing something like this. I know you guys are thinking this is a lot of wasted paper, but it really isn't. If this would have been like a regular job and I was selling these shirts and somebody would have ordered them, I'd have made a bunch of money. But friends and family so that right there is priceless guys so put that together and throw that in the trash and that's it uh -huh. now you guys see all the shirts I did front back front back front back front back front back front back Awesome. Alright, all done. Now I gotta pack this and I gotta carry it in my suitcase. Panda behind. 
Now, I normally try the shirts on after I'm done making them, but I'm not going to. If you guys want to see us all wearing the shirts at the same time, make sure you guys are tuned in because I'm going to be uploading some pictures as well as doing a little vlogging while we are at the Outer Banks, showing you guys the places that we're staying at, showing you guys how the Outer Banks look so you guys can, can compare it to the TV show versus what it's like visiting there in real life. Um, hopefully the weather is nice. I'm going to show you our nice huge house. I keep on saying that because that's going to be my favorite part, I think. Um, we got a beach house, beach in the back, huge, nice, big house. Um, huge, nice, big Did I mention we had a huge, nice, big house? But I'm going to show that to you guys so you guys can... I want to do it in a way that you guys can feel like you're there with me. So make sure you guys are tuned in. Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And don't forget... Use my heat transport house link down below to purchase your Sawgrass SG-1000 and your heat press. Um, if you don't like the heat press that Heat Transfer House has, which I have no idea why you would not, because they have the Walla Press Auto Open 16x20 Awesome Press, and they have the 15x15 15 15 Awesome Sickening Press right there. They got the yeah, they got a whole lot of nice presses on there. Where you can use my heat trans my heat press nation link. They have presses available on their site too. This is this specific press that I used on the video is from Heat Press Nation, so you guys can check that out. The Auto Open 16 by 20 Signature Series, love that thing. Um, we got the uh, whew, this Sawgrass SG 1000 right here, Sawgrass SG 500 down here, guys. And guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to tune in for the whole week. We're going to be throwing up stories. We're going to be throwing up videos um, of Outer Banks trips and we're going to be throwing um, some random stuff up guys so stay tuned um, and I'll see you guys while we're at the airport so stay tuned all day tomorrow all day all week all right so yo guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to take some time off sometimes from what you're doing to enjoy life and enjoy your yourself and enjoy the, the things that you're doing okay so it's your boy alan wade uh don't forget to follow me on instagram a dub productions follow me on snap i mean on um TikTok, A Dub Productions, and follow me on Facebook, A Dub Productions, and visit the merch store, buy yourself some channel merch, help support the channel. Also, we got, we still got the flash drives available, the preloaded flash drives with bunches and bunches of .pes files for your brother SE600 or your brother PE800 or your brother SE1900, guys, and we're going to be throwing some .dst files up for your Recoma MT1501 or Recoma EM1010. Going to start putting some um, dope embroidery files for those those machines on there too so um stay tuned for that guys um so excited a lot of stuff coming up so stay tuned for everything um got the truck lift video coming up so whew, guys gonna be bananas talk to you guys on the next one it's your boy peace turn up that crank it up while listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best baby